Well, good morning everyone. It's uh, September 28th, but believe it or not, it's actually really warm today. Temperature is supposed to be in the mid-20s and the sun is beaming down and tomorrow is supposed to be rainy. So I thought, well, why don't we take advantage of this and do some trout fishing today at the lake. Uh, today we're at Shea Lake um, in the Ken Valley, about one and a half hour outside of Chilliwack, about two hours from Vancouver. So it's a beautiful day. I'm here by myself at the lake. There's nobody out here. Hopefully trout will be biting. So I took the boat out here today and uh, well honestly the, the fishing has been pretty slow during the day, it was pretty sunny but now that the, um, the sun has gone down, we're in the shade and uh, we, had about, we have about an hour and a half of light left and the fish are just starting to bite now. You can see the trout are rolling around and getting to a few fish so I'm gonna keep going at it and stick around and see what we can catch. So the setup we're using today is fairly simple. Um, just a typical sliding float setup that I mentioned in previous tutorials quite a few times and we're using two different baits. We're using Pasky baits, um, pink shrimp single eggs and uh, fire bait. Both have worked equally well so I'm just kind of rotating between the two um, for these fish. There's lots of little guys around as well so I'm using like a size, this is a size 6 hook. Um, lots of small fish hanging about. You kind of have to weed through them. But in the last little while, I've been getting bigger fish. So hopefully that trend continues. This one. Oh, I lost that one. <laughs> it's literally right away right now. Um, as soon as the bait settles at the depth you want it, um, I was getting by some. I was putting. Four eggs on. Now I'm putting two eggs on at once. You'll 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 get a bite right away, pretty much. Oh, yep, yeah, there's one. Not a very big fish. This is a little guy. I don't think I cast it far enough for this. Oh, lost it. And I got a big tangle. Shoot, this is gonna cut some down some fishing time. Ah, there we go, getting there. Oh. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Done. Let's put some bait on there and get it out there. Because these fish are biting like crazy. Hopefully they're still around. Let's see what happens. Give me some bite bait this time. And see what we can get. Oh, that took forever. Oh, I missed one. That was fast. So the fire bait is working pretty well too. Um, I'm just kind of, let's go back to eggs again, going back and forth between the two, just to keep things a little interesting. It should be right away. Yep. Oh, I missed it again. It's funny how, you know, during the day today, I had maybe two bites and there were little fish, 
and now they all, they all seem like pretty nice fish now. So you just never know. You gotta stick around to the end of the day um, to find out how how the fishing really is. Yep, 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 yep. yep. That's nice. <laughs> Whoa! They fight pretty well. This is only like a 12 inch, inch fish, but it's fighting pretty hard. Another one. Nice. Already out. Beauty looking fish. Let's take a look at it. Nice looking rainbow trout. This one's only, like I say, it's only about 12 inches long. We'll let this one go. So I can see the um, the fish actually aren't very big in this lake. Well, there, there are fish up to two pound, three pound in this lake, but typically most of the fish are going to be in a 12 to 14 inches long, maybe 16. Um, that's all right. It's, it's great fun for the kids if you bring kids out here to camp, um, have a couple jars of bait. Uh, that's all we need to have a lot of evening fun. I mean, I've been getting bites pretty much on every cast. This is probably the. There's another one. <laughs> I was gonna say, that was, that's the slowest. Oh, so cool. Oh, there's another nice one. <laughs> Whoa! The jump too. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, so feisty. <laughs> this one's slightly larger than the other one. Um, I think I'm actually going to keep this one for eating. You can keep five fish a day. Um, but only one fish can be over 50 centimeters long. Um, this is a great eating size, so I'll, I'll take a couple of home to enjoy. Not a super big fish, but um, this is a good pan size, um, good eating size. So we're gonna keep a couple of these to enjoy. And like I said, this is a put and take lake. So all of the fish is stocked in this lake and you, you're totally welcome to take these fish home to eat. Um, as long as you, uh, if you have your fishing license when you come out here to fish, so beauty. Perfect size for the meal. Nice. Well, just like that, the bite is off in less than an hour. And um, it was pretty good. We hooked about maybe just a dozen fish. Most of them were in the 12 to 14 inches long range and a few smaller ones, um, which is not unusual. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is just a really quick and fast evening session at um, showing you guys how to catch um, rainbow trout in early fall in the lake. So yeah, and get yourself some fly bait. 
and some single eggs as well. And both of these worked really well for me today under the float. And uh, yeah, so even though salmon fishing can be pretty good this time of year in BC, um, it's definitely worth coming out to have a relaxing day, especially um, if the weather is really nice um, for rainbow trout. So yeah, until next time, good luck fishing.